But here's a trypanosome. Is these wiggly little creatures, and they're disease vectors, and they're carried inside of the um, in the kissing bug. And so when they transmit it into humans, it can cause Chagas disease, which we'll also chat about today. Um, there have been some studies to try to counteract trypanosomes, because trypanosomes can be parasitic or not. What's really amazing and frustrating for researchers is that if you're studying trypanosomes, if you you have to infect, like when you're infecting, to keep them, that's the best way to put it, to keep them virulent, meaning disease causing, you can't just keep them in a cell culture dish. You can keep them alive in cell culture and freeze them away and thaw them and study them under like in a dish, but they lose their virulence. You have to put them through a host to keep them virulent, which makes it really, really difficult to study them because you keep having to put them through a host. And so how would you genetically modify them? Uh, it's, it's, it's a whole pain in the butt. We actually figured this out when I was an undergrad, we were in the lab trying to get this to work and they just, we, you know, we, we cultured them in a dish for a long time. We marked them with green fluorescent protein. So last night we we're chatting about like fluorescent dyes. So we mark them green so you can see them. The idea was we infect the fruit fly with it and then you can see where they swim around in the fruit, fl fruit fly's body just with the green fluorescence. And uh, they didn't really swim around that much and the flies didn't have a shortened lifespan. And we're like, that's weird. They should be dying pretty rapidly. And it turns out they lost their virulence. They were no longer negative to, like, the, like we're not no longer a fitness detriment, which is kind of gnarly cool. Um, terrifying, but still kind of cool. So, Tiffany, here is your image. Uh, I want to show how you guys can actually recognize a nest. So this is an egg mass uh, of one one of these assassin bugs. Let's see. There we go. It's a really, really beautiful nest of how it's arranged, but... Like it, like the diamond shape, right? It's 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 very unique and striking. So if you guys see one of these, I don't know if y'all see one, please like don't get too close, but take a picture because I I would love to see like if there's any outside. Slices green fluorescent dye into my jeans so I can glow in the dark. Hugan, glow in the dark mustache, right? But it's a very unique looking structure. So I do lay eggs. This is all from one individual. Uh, so is it hurting the tree? So I think it's actually sap leaking. I don't, they don't actually, when I was reading, they don't bore into the tree. Um, they don't live in colony smikes. So this is an, like, this is all from one individual that these were laid. And this is like, um, this is quite zoomed in. Uh, unfortunately we don't have a scale bar, which is kind of frustrating, but it's much, much smaller than you'd imagine and it's like a it's similar to the mosquito raft that the mosquitoes build um but instead it's just laid on the side of a tree and then they have a nymph stage as well as an adult stage yeah oh, that's true there is a leaf right here to give you guys some sense of scale so it, it is quite small um a scale bar though again would have been nice seen a creature that makes cocoon with sticks yeah hugh using of tools right is also really really cool but, all, but like what drives them to use particular tools over another that's also a not as straightforward kind of question um but really really cool nonetheless and here this species looks a little bit similar to tiffany's um just like in the body plan here looks a little similar in coloration too i don't this species would not be endemic to the united states but at least in the morphology it's a little bit similar um Basically, it has kind of legs that look like maybe a mantis or even a cricket looking leg. It doesn't like jump or leap like a cricket or make sounds um, like a cricket, but just like a little bit structurally, it looks like that. These aren't what they all look like. Um, this is probably the most beautiful assassin bug that I found. This is located in Ecuador and it's actually, it looks more like a bee than anything. But if you look at look at it like really closely, this is not its head, right? Its head <laughs> is this little bitty thing, screaming zebra. My goodness, welcome on in. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Welcome to our little colony. 
I hope you're having an amazing day. All right. Good? All right. Well, welcome. We are uh, talking about the assassin bug, a deep dive on it today. Just getting some of our bearings set. Here's an example of one assassin bug. Uh, the head is very much is at the front there are the antennas come antennae coming out two antennae here and then this one actually can fly um it's b, b mimicry so i cliff i thought this was really really cool um and i kind of wanted to look in and see why it was shaped like this like what was its prey like cliff pointed out that this looks very much like a bee does it use that ability to do something with bees? It turns out, Cliff, yes. This assassin bug, guess what it eats? Bees! <laughs> and it goes in and tricks bees by this physical appearance. It even, like, the yellow here on the leg mimics, like, what a pollen sack looks like, too. So the bees don't know. Like... Guys, honestly, the first time I looked at this, like, I just split second looked. It looks very bee-like, right? Um, it walks a little... Like, here you can see... So, that this here, what it's cleaning, this, this beak-looking structure, that's what it uses to drink blood from. And I was reading online, like, what that feels like, and they said roughly, um, like, a really, really hot hot needle in like boring into your skin is a little bit what it feels like insect mimicry is really cool hugan um i was not expecting to find this little guy because most of the images that i was finding right of the assassin bug looked a lot more like this um yeah no it's these are terrifying theo i mean they're you know like the ones that we've seen like the ones that have owl eyes on them right are really really like it's just like a moth right moths um, those look really, really cool, but aren't especially scary. Um, but these, it's like, it's disguising itself because it's cut so it can get close to a beehive and they need it, right? It's, it's super, super gnarly. Um, and here it cleans, it's cleaning its little proboscis and look side view too. Like, look at the eyes and that head, like side view totally doesn't see one. I keep the red one as a pet. Just don't poke at it. Just because they can carry those trypanosomes and be like a really, really di uh, like a deadly vector, um, which would be—I don't want anything to happen to you, Theo. Um, uh, sounds uh, um, arachn arachnids do too. There's actually the arachnid that copies um, uh, the uh, ants. Actually, I heard to put it was squashed. I got gotcha, you, Theo. I got gotcha. you. Took out some drugs. Let's go now on the couch. There we go, NMD. Relax, sit back, and let me terrify you. Look at that creature. There's a bird that just like is peering in the window. Sorry, guys. The Wikipedia looks very similar to the conifer seed bug. Oh, I wonder, Cliff, if that's also then mimicking for that purpose. If they're. I didn't see any like commonalities seeing if they're actually like all mimicking in order to kill their prey. There's we have some videos where they're actually after spiders as well and they don't look too different like from the example images, so just depends. Also spider looks like moves like dead leaf. Yep, and there's other like the actual like leaf bugs. Stay in not, not the brain, thank you for the lurk. Um, there's the stick bug and the leaf bugs as well, and it's just really, really amazing that they can look so similar. It's like, yes, please rest, not the brain, please rest. Look at that, it's an, amu it's an amazing insect. It is beautifully built like a bee. And as always, it's cleaning. It's always, like, these insects tend to clean themselves a fair bit. I don't mean just like these particular ones, like the assassin bugs, but like fruit flies, ants, bees, wasp, you name it. Spend a lot of time cleaning themselves so they don't acquire microbes and cause there to be some kind of like infection, whether in the colony or just on themselves. 